Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a Trumpet for My People. Today is January 9th, and I want to talk to you guys about this C2022 E3 ZTF. That's going to be at Perihelion on January 12th, just three days from now. And uh, this comet was discovered on March 2nd, 2022. And by early November of 2022, the comet had brightened to magnitude 10 and was appearing to move slowly in Corona Borealis and Serpents as it moved parallel to Earth. The comet exhibited a green coma and a yellowish dust tail and a faint ion tail. The comet was visible in early evening and started being visible in the morning sky by the end of November. By December 19th, the comet had developed a greenish coma, short broad dust tail, and long faint ion tail stretching across a 2.5 degree wide field of view. After that, the comet started moving northward, passing through Boots, Draco, Ursa Minor, passing within about 10 degrees of Polaris. The comet will reach its perihelion on January 12th, 2023 at a distance of 1.11 AU, uh, astronomical units, I think that's that means. And then it will be closest to Earth on February 1st. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to Stellarium. And I was able to add this into Stellarium. And I, it was not uh, readily available. You have to go in and configure it and add it. So I was able to add it in there. Now what I want to do is I want to follow the uh, I want to follow its route to its perihelion event and show you. Um, we just read that it's going to be close to Corona Borealis, Serpents, and Draco, and I want to show you where it's going to be uh, as it's coming to its perihelion on January twelfth. So let's just go. Let's just move forward here. And uh, let's just follow it on its path. Since it was discovered on March 2nd, 2022, this is the route that it is taking from Earth's perspective. Okay. Now, what ends up happening then is that on January 12th, okay, on January 12th, when it hits uh, perihelion, that means it's going to be rounding the sun and then heading back out. So this is where, okay, this is where it's coming to right here is where uh, this is ending. This is making its last uh, approach to the sun and this is where it's going to be um, like in retrograde and turning around and then heading back out of the uh, of the solar system. Okay, so if we look here, this was the uh, this was the lunar eclipse of November eighth, and it's right here uh, between Ophiuchus and Corona Borealis, right uh, on the head of the serpent. Okay, and uh, then if we go forward, okay, here is the beginning of Hanukkah. It's right in the crown on Hanukkah. Okay, this comet is right on the crown in Hanukkah, December 18th. Going through the end of Hanukkah, still in the crown. So it's basically in the crown from December 8th, basically right there, it's entering the crown, right at the beginning of Hanukkah, and right at the end of Hanukkah, it's going to be leaving the crown, okay? So basically, it was in the crown exactly on Hanukkah. Okay, these were the dates we were watching. Then, it's coming up on the perihelion event on January 12th, and it's it's in here it's in this region right here between Ophiuchus, serpents the crown and the dragon all of this is happening 
connected to uh, the lunar eclipse of November 8th, basically going to be turning around right here. Okay, basically in this area, kind of in back into retrograde, coming back right through uh, the crown on Hanukkah. And this is the perihelion event of, of January 12th. Okay, so on January 12th, and all the way through from Hanukkah, we were seeing uh, the crown. It was in the crown on Hanukkah. Now, if we go to the Bible and look up the word crown, okay, you're going to see that crown is used 12 times in the book of Exodus, and in the book of Revelation, it's used 11 times. Okay, so let's take a look at the book of Revelation about the crowning. And let's read these verses together as we are seeing the crowning event that is coming and taking place between the people of God receiving their crowns and the Antichrist receiving his crown and the whole reason why there is a coronavirus and it's a virus that is a crowning achievement of the Antichrist, the coronavirus. Revelation 2.10, Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Behold, I come quickly. Hold thou fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Revelation 4.4, 4, Round about the throne were four and twenty seats. Upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Revelation 4.10, The four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne, and worship him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne. Revelation 6.2, I saw, and behold, a white horse. He that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. Okay, could this be the crown that was being given unto the Antichrist? A comet, a green comet that is coming through, and exactly on Hanukkah, it's going in and out of Corona Borealis, which is the crown on the serpent. Revelation 9, 7, And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. Revelation 12, 1, There appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Revelation 12, 3, And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, Seven crowns upon his heads. Seven crowns upon his heads. Okay, a great red dragon. Okay, Corona Borealis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. Seven crowns upon his head. Here's the head of the serpent. Here's the dragon. Okay, and this comet is right here in between the dragon, in between the serpent, the crowning of the serpent. There appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon having seven heads, ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. Okay, Revelation 13, 1, I stood upon the sand of the sea, saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and, and upon his horns ten crowns, upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Okay, so there's a theme here about the beast, about the dragon, about the Antichrist getting a crown, okay, and this comet is coming through Corona Borealis just before January 12th just before its perihelion event. 
Revelation 14, 14, I looked and behold a white cloud and upon the cloud one sat like unto the son of man having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. Revelation 19, 12, his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Okay, so Revelation talks about all of the crowns that are going to be coming for the beast, for the dragon, for the Antichrist, and also for the people of God. And this comet came right here, right in between here, and came right back through the crowning event on Hanukkah. And now the big day is January 12th. This is the day that closest to the sun and then it's going to be kicked back out of the uh, of the solar system this is on its way out january 12th this is the way out of the solar system okay that's the way these comets work okay so going back to november 8th this is the this is where it was on the day of the uh Lunar eclipse, 40 day warning to, to December 18th. And then by December 18th, it was in the crown, exactly in the crown on Hanukkah from December 18th through December 26th. Okay crowning event on Hanukkah and now it's coming to its perihelion and this is the big day January 12th okay so here is the information I wanted to share with you guys there is your green comet The green monster comet, January 12th, is this the sign of the crowning of the Antichrist? Okay, guys, I'm just sharing what I see. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.